Hey there Broncos, Mr. Miller here. In this video we are going to continue to discuss Sora. If you look in the comments below, I'll have a link to the first Sora video. It talks about how to access it, how to log in, and the basics of use. But in this one we're going to look at how to add a library, how to place a hold, and a little more about the search feature. So when we are here on the library website, remember uh, the easiest way to access Sora is probably to hover over the read menu. That third link says find an ebook or e-magazine Sora. When I click on that, after I've logged in the first time and authenticated with Google, it's just going to take me directly to my shelf. And all of the books, magazines, and audiobooks that I have checked out are going to be there. As well as your holds, you can create lists and see a history, if you want to, of the books you have checked out. Now, let's say I want a book. We're going to go down here to explore. And I can browse um, by what's going on and what's popular in different shelves. I can also just go up here to search. Now you can search by title, author, right, subject, interest. Uh, I have a search already saved here. Concrete Rose is one of this year's gateway nominees. So you see, we have both a uh, ebook copy and an audiobook copy. But if you look under here, I actually have the Lisa R7 Schools, but also four other libraries added to my Sora. This is really a great thing because if we have the book but it's already checked out or it's being used or we don't have it, then you can in one feed see if the other libraries have it and borrow it um, from them. Also, if the book's already uh, been borrowed like this one has, I can place a hold. Um, and the cool thing about that is if I add other libraries, then it's going to place a hold uh, oftentimes in each library and just give me whichever copy shows up first or will show me where it's located and estimate the wait time. So that's how we search, uh, place holds, but how do we actually add the other libraries? So if I look up here, there's what we call a hamburger menu or more menu up here at the top. And I see different options, including download options and setting options and hold options. But up here, it says all of my libraries. And here I have an add library button. I can hit add library. I can search my town or zip code. So 64086 is the school zip code. And notice I have not only the school district, um, but mid-continent public libraries. And that's the one that probably all of us are looking for because remember, your lunch number is a mid-continent public library card number. There's more information about that on the website. We talk about it all the time here in the library, but come see us if you need help. So go ahead and add mid-continent. Once you do that, it just shows up both in your menu, but also anytime you search for a book, the mid-continent results will show up just underneath your Lee Summit School results as well. Again, this just gives you more access to great ebooks and audiobooks and magazines, both through your school district and your local public library. And you can get a Kansas City Public Library card because you live in Jackson County, and that's another great library system. So go ahead and take advantage of that as well. So Sora, great app, great thing to use. You can access it both on your Chromebook or your phone or any personal device um, through our website. So check out those books and all the other offerings as well.